The Doha treasure of the Mahasita Krishnapa. Worldly ones who are proud, based on various scriptures and logic, state, I have entered emptiness. There is no error. There is no entity. Emptiness is also is empty of emptiness. Birth is not possible because of birthlessness. All of that is false. There is no essence to passing away, changing, or healing. Whatever is conceived through the intellect is not realization. It is thought. Therefore, the illness will completely arise again. Thoughts are delusion. Neither the object nor the knower have reality. Impermanence is unreal and therefore has no truth. Therefore, they are the path of delusion. If the intellect adopts this as an object, this is the experience of the Lord without waves. This is completely experienced by the Sugatas of existence, the Lord of wrathful goddesses of those of the Mandala Circle. To make effort in accomplishing this is an error. Adoption and rejection ends in exhaustion. The Dharmata is like space. Those who wish to go there are like pretas searching for the end of space. Those who wish to attain the ultimate Quintessence are like deer following after the water of a mirage. To be a primordial Buddha and yet wish for Buddhahood is a delusion. Wondrous and illusory being enters the middle way. A mountain in the sky is adorned by a dream forest. An illusion of an elephant follows a river in a mirage. The son of a barren woman rules the kingdom of the Gandavars. I, Krishnapa, never change at any time. I am free from the path's effort. I am in a state of naturalness. I realize it to be the true nature, and I make new calculations. If without calculations, Without error, you see the certain truth. There is no attainment, no attachment to the du duality of empty and non-empty. But that one arrives at is the time limit of the cessation of phenomena, the cessation of intellect. This completes the Doha treasure, which composed by Krishnapa. It was translated by his own, by the Indian Pandita Sri Varochana.